All right, I'm going to introduce you now to chef and author Justin Van Aken. He is the son of legendary chef Norman Van Aken, and yes, like his father, Justin can cook. The two of them recently published a book together entitled My Key West Kitchen. Now, Justin says that this book is kind of like a culinary love letter to his hometown of Key West. Justin, thank you so much for being on with me today. Thanks for having me. All right, Justin, it is in your blood to be a chef. <laughs> Did right. you always know you were going to get into this field of work? Oh, absolutely not. No, I, uh, I, I fought it tooth and nail. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, saw, um, I saw my dad work really hard um, for, for long hours of the day and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, didn't get to see him much, but except for maybe on, a, on, on Sundays, I got to see him every Sunday. That was, that was kind of our sacred day of the week. Mm -hmm. um, but it was it just looked like too crazy too much work and 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 um and it just wasn't for me i said i wanted to take it easy and i'm gonna find a different way um but you don't always um you don't always make these decisions for yourself sometimes they they choose you and um i um you know in my early 20s i found that i didn't have the too much i hadn't developed enough of a skill set to really pay the bills in the long term and i had to and i was struggling to pay the rent and um uh, so my dad uh, said, "Son, you're gonna have to come home and learn a trade if you if you can't, if you can't make it on your own." So, um, after thinking about it for about 24 hours, I decided I had no, no I didn't really have any other options. So, went home and um, apprenticed in the pastry department. And uh, that was that was over a little over 10 years ago. We're we're about uh, next week. We're going to be going up to Orlando to um, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of our of our restaurant there that I helped that I helped open about four or five months after I started cooking. Awesome. Well, I think so, it was a good choice that you got into because you're good at what you do. I fell in. I mean, I you know kind of dove in head head first, uh, or fell in head first, whatever, you, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but but yeah, thank you uh, very much. I feel um, I feel very lucky to have been able to develop a skill set and you know amongst a, a great team. I had I had good training. Great. Now, Justin, I mentioned that you were born in Key West. You were raised here, mm -hmm. but you did leave the island for a little bit yeah. and and did a lot of traveling. Tell me about your travel. That's right. Um, when um, when I was nine, we moved up to the mainland um, uh, in search of uh, work, um, <clears throat> and so um, so you know we kind of we came and, and went a few times. Uh, you know we spent uh, we spent about seventeen years in Miami, but um, you know after my folks moved back just before uh, Hurricane Wilma uh, in two thousand and five, uh, I uh, I decided to go out on my own for a little while, and I ended up going to uh, after I spent some time here in Key West. I went up to uh, Chicago, and, um, and 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 lived there for a little while. and And I wanted to find out more about the farm to table movement, um, so I immersed myself in that. And then, uh, and then I decided to go and and see it in action in in San Francisco, uh, in the Bay Area. So for a few weeks, I went out there, and um, did some stages, uh, just uh, short uh, stages at Chez Panisse and uh, in Canto restaurants, and. Um, and I got to see that whole thing in action there because you know when I left South Florida uh, shortly before that, about a year before that, or a year and a half before that, it really wasn't happening here yet. You know, we really weren't seeing all the farmers markets and the farm to table um, restaurants and things like that. But you know, um, and so I thought I was going to have to kind of like be start, you know, kind of introducing it to to South Florida. But I was really pleasantly surprised when I got back that to see that it was we we were starting to develop our own sense of those of those um, ideals and concerns here too great mm -hmm. and now you've obviously been able to take those skills into what you're doing now and you and your father released a book together entitled yeah. My Key West Kitchen. Justin, this is great. I think this is a wonderful book, and I know this is a little different style than what we might be used to. Yeah. Um, well, this is a, this is a, this is the fifth book for my dad. Uh, it's my first, mm -hmm. um, and we uh, we co-authored it together. Uh, it's basically um, you know we wanted to share our love for for the island and 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 uh, you know share with. Uh, share with an, a national and even interna international audience, um, uh, you know the things that we've learned to cook here, and the and the, uh, the the culture, the people, uh, and the place that we've been inspired by mm -hmm. over the years. And the place that it was, it, you know, like it, it's my, like I say, it's my hometown. So it it definitely, even though I left um, at a young age, it definitely shaped who you know who I uh, who I am. Mm -hmm. And shaped what you do in the kitchen too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now the layout of this book, Justin. Mm -hmm. I notice you have a map of Key West. Yeah. How did you guys decide on the layout? Well, you know, we were um, we had the book. So we, you know, in the initial phases, we had the book organized in in sort of a traditional form where there's you know salads, soups, appetizers, entrees, desserts, kind of a you know menu uh, progress. Um, but then you know I was looking at actually I'll show it to you um, this um, 
this map here um, shows that um, that much on that side, and this one on the rest of the on the back. Um, but it basically, I decided that you know, I said, Dad, you know, we when we're in Key West, we don't really, you know, we don't experience it like appetizer soup, entree dessert. We sort of like we decide where we want to go based on where where these places are, because there's these places that are down here on the water, you know, around around the island, or even if you go to, up to like Hogfish and Stock Island. These are places that are on the water, and they all are tied together by a field. You know, they, they, you might be eating some peeling eat shrimps and drinking a beer and looking out at the, you know, old shrimp boats or whatever. And then there's the places that are on the interior of the, the neighborhood places, like, you know, uh, Sibine. You know, you go in and you're going to have, like, a real home-cooked meal. It's like, mm -hmm. like tucking into somebody, uh, you know, somebody's aunt's house and, and just having a nice uh, dinner at home. And then, you, of course, you've got Duval Street. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the things that are just on and off Duval and affected by the, the rhythms of those, you know, the, honk, the honky tonks and the, mm -hmm. all the, uh, the fun that goes on down there. Um, but that's sort of, I think, the, the sort of the, the themes that, that you can draw from that are a little bit more organic mm -hmm. than um, the traditional, like, you know, menu uh, progression. Great. I love it. And I need to check out the book because I'm not good at cooking. So maybe I can get some tips from you guys. Yeah, please and Justin, do. what was it like working with your dad on the project? Um, it was it was great. You know, we we uh, we've worked together on on many projects. I, I trained in his restaurants, um, and um, <clears throat> you know we've always been very close. Uh, but we really got to uh, know each other on a different on a different level um, because we were working as equals on this mm -hmm. project, and that was that was a different thing for us. You know, you know, it's it's a lot easier when it's very clear, and one person's giving the orders, and the other person is executing you know the tasks, and there's not really you know you don't have to question each other. You don't got to say, well, hey, wait, no, you got to listen to me too. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> but, you know, co-authoring the book, you know, you, there's different senses of ownership and, and uh, I, we, I think we both have come away with it, come away from it with, um, you know, a newfound respect and un for and understanding of each other's skill sets. And I love it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, I it's think been it's good. Great. All right. And what are you working on right now, Justin? Uh, well, uh, we're working on um, we're working on a new project. Well, we're working on, on um, you know promoting this book. We're doing different events. We have it. Uh, we're carrying it all. Uh, it's being carried all around town. Um, the the Key West Island Bookstore has it. Uh, Besa Memocho next to the creperie has it. Um, the restaurant store. Um, uh, God, who am I forgetting? Oh, Perry of course, and Margaritaville, all carrying it, and um, it's doing quite well there. But um, we're sort of also d looking to build on this project. And um, we're currently developing a program where we can offer uh, folks a chance to see an authentic Key West, where we would basically be uh, showing them uh, different different spots around town, places we like to go, mm -hmm. um, that shows them um, um, a Key West that they might not be able to see if they didn't have uh, you know uh, uh, some local chefs and and, 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 and and experts on the island to show them around. You know, it's not right. the, it's not going to be the, the the five cent tour. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be something that that you really can't find uh, except for one place. Wonderful! With us. <laughs> I love it. I look forward to reading it. And everybody needs to go to those locations you mentioned and pick up their copy of My mm -hmm. Key West Kitchen. Justin, it's been a pleasure having you on. Thank it's you. It's been great. Thank you very much. Come back soon with the with the new project. All right, we love to. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.